In our hyper-connected digital world, cybersecurity threats are continuously evolving, posing new challenges for individuals and organizations alike. As we look forward into 2024, it's crucial to stay informed of the latest risks and vulnerabilities so that you can prepare for the next wave of cyber attacks. So buckle up, I'm going to be going over the top cyber threats that we're likely to see over 2024 and what you can do as an individual or organization to protect yourself. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This is All Function. My name is Jen and today we're going to be talking about the top cyber threats over 2024. So first up, we're going to talk about a threat that I am sure you have heard before, ransomware. Ransomware attacks have been a persistent menace for years, and unfortunately, they show no signs of slowing down in 2024. These malicious attacks are when cyber criminals encrypt a company or individual's data and hold it hostage in exchange for a ransom payment. These attacks are becoming increasingly more sophisticated. With the rise of cryptocurrencies facilitating anonymous payment and ransomware as a service becoming more prevalent, there is certainly a rise in the potential for a devastating attack on critical infrastructure. Thus, the concerns around ransomware remain high. So how can you protect yourself or your organization from a ransomware attack? I've got a couple suggestions for you. First off, restrict privileged access. Implement the principle of least privilege. This restricts the user's permissions and access rights to fit within the parameters of their specific role. This can limit the spread and impact of ransomware if an attack does occur. Number two, wherever possible, keep software updated. Applying the latest security patches and updates to operating systems, applications, and software helps close the security gap and vulnerabilities that ransomware may exploit. Enable automatic updates where possible. Number three, maintain online backups. By maintaining an online backup that is separate from the systems that may be infected with ransomware, you have a better chance of recovering if you are unable to get the data back from the ransomware attack. It's important to note that even if you are affected by a ransomware attack and you pay the ransom, there is a good chance you might not see that data back. It might have been corrupted during the encryption process or the threat actors might just decide to leak it anyway. Don't trust the criminals. Having good online backups can greatly mitigate the risks of data damage or loss. Number four, implement endpoint protection solutions like antivirus, anti-malware, and EDR products. EDR stands for Endpoint Detection and Response. And number five, security awareness training. Educate employees on identifying and reporting suspicious emails, links, and URLs. Promote a security conscious culture at your organization. So the next threat we're going to talk about is cloud vulnerability. As more organizations embrace cloud computing for its convenience and scalability, cyber criminals have hit the ground running to find cloud vulnerabilities. Through 2024, we can expect to see an uptick in cloud-based attacks, making it imperative for businesses to prioritize cloud security and implement robust safeguards. All right, now let's talk about some cloud security that you can implement. Rotate encryption keys regularly to limit the exposure window. Restrict public access to cloud resources like storage buckets or functions. Limit the number of of users with high risk permissions. Avoid using API keys where possible and instead use standard authentication. Investigate and remove over provisioned identities. This will help to reduce permission creep. Next up, we're gonna talk about IOTs, the hacker's playground. Internet of Things or IOTs have revolutionized our lives, but with that have also brought a plethora of security risks. With billions of connected devices, from smart home appliances to industrial control systems, the attack surface for cyber criminals has expanded. Poorly secured IOT devices can act as an entry point for hackers, allowing them to distribute DDoS attacks, steal sensitive data, or even disrupt critical infrastructure. So how can we protect ourselves against IoT attacks? First up, implementing IoT endpoint protection. Harden IoT devices by plugging vulnerabilities in, high-risk ports, wireless connections, unencrypted communications. Use strong authentication and password practices. Change default credentials on IoT devices and replace them with strong, unique passwords. Now the recommendation is network segmentation. Segment IoT devices from other network zones. This can greatly reduce the attack surface and prevent a single compromise from moving laterally. Don't let the smart vacuum be the undoing of your entire network. And lastly, don't buy shady IoT devices. There is a reason that major companies are more expensive. Do your research and just make sure you're purchasing smart. And lastly, one of the scarier threats that we might see over 2024 is state-sponsored warfare. So in the world of geopolitics, cyber warfare has become a potential tool for nation state agencies to push their agendas. State-sponsored cyber attacks are on the rise, targeting government systems, critical infrastructure, and even private companies. These sophisticated attacks are often backed by significant resources and expertise. This poses a severe threat to national security and economic stability. All right, so what are some of the things that we can do to prevent all-out catastrophe? Number one, prioritize patching and updates. Regularly patch and update all systems, applications, and devices. State-sponsored actors actively exploit no vulnerabilities, so keeping software up to date can prevent many attacks. Pay particular attention to internet-facing products that are commonly targeted, like Fortinet, Avanti, and Citrix. Number two, implement robust access control. Enforce strong access control like multi-factor 
two-factor authentication, especially for privileged accounts. Continuously remove and disable unnecessary accounts, particularly those of past employees. Store and manage credentials securely. You can use vaults or privileged access management solutions. Number three, enhanced monitoring and detection. Implement advanced monitoring and detection capabilities to identify indicators of compromise within your environment. Leverage user behavior analytics and cyber threat intelligence to detect sophisticated threat actor TTPs. And next up, number four, I know we mentioned it up in ransomware, but continued security awareness training. Provide regular security awareness training to employees so that they can identify and report social engineering tactics, such as spear phishing, which is a common tactic for state actors to use for initial access. And next up, number five is the zero trust theory. Implement the zero trust security approach, meaning least privilege access, micro segmentation, and continuous verification of users and devices. This can limit the blast radius if state actors do gain initial access. All right, guys, so as we navigate the cybersecurity landscape of 2024, it's clear that the threats are multifaceted and continuously evolving. Stay vigilant, implementing robust cybersecurity measures, and foster a culture of cybersecurity awareness. Remember, cybersecurity is not just an IT concern. It's a collective responsibility, which requires a proactive and collaborative approach from all stakeholders. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. This is All Function. My name is Jen, and if you like the content that you see here today, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I put out new videos every Wednesday. See you later.